Hello there, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Autistic Alchemy or Trinergy Awakens Naturally or Instagram, however you're finding me. Welcome to me and uh, welcome to the as well. Um, I am actually coming in today because, or right at this moment, because I just got done watching a video and I'll make sure I tag his information below. There's a yogi that I started following and unfortunately I can't pronounce his name, much less, you know, remember it accurately to pronounce it for you, but I'll make sure that I tag it below, that I thought that I would give my, um, my expose on what he had to say, and it's a really good thing. He was mentioning that when you put energy on something, you're magnifying that energy. And so when we are putting energy on someone and remembering the worst parts of them, Never mind the worst parts of ourselves. Stop doing that immediately. Please stop doing that. However, when we're remembering the worst parts of someone else and how they've treated us, you know, um, it might be time. It might be time. It's well over time as far as I'm concerned to really look at other people and be able to discern now, he didn't mention that. I'm going to mention that because that's real important for me personally. I'm not a yogi master, and so I don't live quite at that, you know, ascended master spot just yet. You know, um, so I need to bring it into where I am. However, he mentioned that when we're seeing other people and we're affirming in them the worst place in them, we're going to probably ignite that place in them that feels shame, that feels blame, that feels horror, that feels trauma, that feels the hurt of every wrongdoing. And when they're doing it to us, it can call us to do the same thing. And that's nasty stuff, isn't it? It can bring some real ew, unpleasant stuff. And so as I was listening to him, he's such a sweet little fella. He's got, you know, a long beard and he's got the, the turban and he sits in a um, cross-legged position, you know, uh, and he's just a very sweet soul. Um, I'm not there yet. I want to make sure that you understand that, that not all of us are there yet. And so we have to take ourselves where we are and know how to discern so that we don't get blasted by other people's place and space and what they're about. However, I really, really resonated with and took in what he had to say that when we put energy on the worst parts of someone, it's likely to ignite those little medusas that are just lying there kind of <laughs> waiting to be ignited. It's likely to ignite those places in them because their unresolved trauma, their unresolved grief, their unresolved whatever baggage. And it's really hard to see someone in a, a greater light or a, a bigger light or a more grand place if their face is out here saying some, you know, not so pleasant stuff. It's very easy to get pulled into the paradigm understanding. That's an old paradigm. You know, age of Pisces, please let it go. Age of Aquarius is here. Let's go this direction, which, you know, age of, of Pisces was about restriction and about, you know, domination and, you know, keeping things boxed in. There's not a human being in their skin that I know that likes to be boxed in. <laughs> I don't care who they are. I don't care how much we go OCD bad or wrong or long or good, you know, or right. I was OCD for a long time and it was a dark night because for as long as I was OCD, I was looking to other people to control them and control the situation and control because I was trying to control my reaction to each situation and that's impossible. And that was the last thing I wanted to hear. I wanted to try to control every situation, every possible outcome, because I didn't know that I could trust my own energy. And there wasn't anybody, unfortunately, <laughs> in 3D that was saying to me, I really trust thee. I really trust your expression. I really trust who and what you are, that you can be on your star and know exactly what to do in that situation in the highest vibration that you can possibly bring, Kate. We know that you can sing that, Kate. We know that you can do it. Don't be late. Um, there wasn't anybody, unfortunately, for me personally. There were faces that were kind of saying that, and unfortunately, due to their own pain and their own drama and their own healing that needed to be done, it was really quite undone and very unhealthy and toxic, and we get into those enmeshed codependent and toxic relationships that are quite narcissistic and abusive and all those, you know, kitsch words. It's all the same stuff, folks. It's all the same stuff. It's not healthy. 
and it's not allowing us to be free and allow us to be standing in our true authenticity and our true divinity. And the only way that I know how to do that is to create that within me and then look to other people to see that in them. However, be careful, my friend, about casting pearls before swine. Nothing wrong with the swine. It's just, do you really want to try to sit above a pigsty and explain to the, the swine about, don't do that to my pearls, man. That's not cool. You know, you shouldn't do that and blah, 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 blah. Um, it might be easier to just reserve the pearls, stop stinking on the <laughs> pigs for doing what they do. And see the beauty of the pig for what it is. And that's a tall order. It's been a very tall order in my life to be able to get out of the strife and say, huh, you know, because I'm a human being, we all are, we all have emotions. However, our truest, most authentic spot really is going to be in seeing the best of ourselves so that we can see the best of other people and everybody. It really is. And it doesn't seem like this yogi that I was listening to, he said, you know, if you see that, now the Christ potential is one thing, it's beautiful and it's a nugget of joy that's right there in every single soul. And if somebody's so Godzilla, Godzilla'd out that they really are just so far away from that little God seed, it's going to be more difficult to perceive that perhaps. And it's not somebody that maybe I want to live with or want to have any kind of relationship with. Them. And I certainly don't want to do combat with that person. You know, that's not a healthy situation. However, dropping that seed within their soul, that's a gift and it's gold to offer someone, hey, I see you and I see what you're capable of doing there, boo. And it doesn't have to be that doo-doo. It does not. And sometimes people will stomp on that they'll stomp on your pearls and you'll feel like oh i wasted my time it is never a waste of time to offer divine it isn't however <laughs> what's good to know is that there may be a better usage of time to drop those pearls in places that are more divine there's no one that's undivine there's a lot of people walking around in some horrible godzilla suits that are out here doing some action that ooh, yeah you're gonna want to put a, a jock strap on that rambo that's bad you know in terms of what's actually helping us not feel had constantly and engaging that at that level Einstein already told us you cannot fix a problem at the level of the problem so don't even try stop that business and I agree with that <clears throat> wholeheartedly I think I'm about to Einstein on that one that you cannot fix the problem at the level of the problem so seeing the worst in someone even when they're showing you their butt you know it's hard to imagine that uh, what are you when they're just flaming hard and showing you their behind it's very hard to find their divinity and I'm not saying sit down and have lunch with that or sit down and you know call that a relationship where you're highly engaged however in the background in my mind at least I have to find those places in my memory where I'm not holding stank behavior, stank thoughts, stank anything is hard sometimes because people have brought me some things that that's unpleasant, that's unholy, that's, ugh, you know, that you stomp my pearls and they did, you know, and I've stomped other people's too by not recognizing that boo and I understand that and it doesn't mean that I, you know, have it all figured out or that this person has it all figured out. We all are walking the journey, whatever it is, whatever time of day, whatever way that we're going, we are all walking our path and there's not one of us that knows the best way for another person to go. We can make suggestions, we can make observations that sometimes other people don't see and if they're not ready Ready to hear that or understand their own frequency being more than you know the low-lying fruit is easy to grab however friends it's not the best to be had and it may take a little bit more it takes some self-confidence it takes some courage it takes some willingness which is what opens the door to all of that is the willingness to do more and to do more than just grab the low-lying fruit because it's easy and it's right there um, I haven't found that that's been the most satisfying thing for me to do. So though it's a, you know, not necessarily an easy journey or an easy walk and I take a lot of flack, you know, I take a lot of flack and I get a lot of pushback and that's okay because 
divinity leads my way. And I do know that every single person, every single life force on this planet has that nugget of divinity in it and can express themselves through it. Seeing that potential and nothing out here in 3D, that seeing the Christ potential and that universality of love and uh, loving frequency. However, it's Godzilla out so far that it's not showing out here. That's going to be hard. And it doesn't mean that it isn't still my work to do to take that in and say, Oh, okay, boo. I'm going to have to love you from a distance. And it doesn't mean that I sit down every night and, you know, say prayers and make it right, etc. I make it right everywhere that I know to make it right. And I ask divinity, God frequency, my angel teams, etc. All the woo-woo stuff or whatever you use. You don't have to be a churchgoer, you don't have to be religious, and you don't have to be spiritual at all. Do the right thing by you, because your intuition, that will tell you, boo, what it is that you can do to make it right for you. And if you are answering the call of your own divinity, and your own sweet spot of, yeah, this is right here, I know what I'm about, I'm golden, I'm hot, that will answer the call of how to go forward with dealing with hostile energy that might be coming at you because it's not there yet. And we all, every single human being wants to be loved. We want to be accepted. And for as long as there's behavior that needs to be rejected, I'm not going to reward bad behavior. It doesn't mean out here in 3D that I have to reward bad behavior when it's coming at me. I do not, however, in some other realm, 5D and beyond, whatever it is, in my dream state, in my imagination, in my prayers, whatever you call that space when you're not in a face-to-face, -face, whatever that space is, if we can hold others in high regard to wherever they are. I'm not talking about lying to yourself and saying they're a great person when you know that's not really true. Find whatever that nugget of information is that I remember when that was really great and then let it go and don't be late <laughs> with get on with your life and find the people that are more out here in 3D expressing that divinity more along with your frequency and that is how we can go forward with forgiveness and allowance. Because forgiveness is all about just please stop that behavior. Um, for most of us, at least for me, I, I should say, um, at least for me, it's about please stop that behavior immediately. And the forgiveness issue isn't going to be an issue for very long because the behavior will have changed. And that is such a stab to the heart that please start immediately and allow me to start by grabbing hold of that and saying, I'm going to look at you in a slightly different light. Whoever it is, every single person has merit. Every single person has that God seed, that divinity, whatever you call that. Every single one of us is available to receive that. We may not be willing to. However, every single person starts out as that God seed. And whether we're a big giant oak tree or we're just that little seed that's struggling hard, every single one of us has that and we deserve to have that recognized. And again, Behavior doesn't mean that, you know, you get a, an Academy Award or something for your terrible, tyrannical behavior. It means that I can honor and recognize in me those places that might not be expressing my divinity so freely and then recognize in other people that, oh, you're struggling with that too, doesn't mean I'm going to be a victim. It does not. It doesn't mean that I have to allow myself because I'm honoring the Christ potential in another person. If you're just living on that seed and you're expecting me to see the Christ potential in nothing else, there needs to be a little bit more for me personally because that's toxic and it's abusive and codependent and enmeshed to really be living in that assumption of you as your best spot if you're not really looking to acquire that spot. And it's the same if you were to look at me. This isn't a one-way street. This is two-way always. And People are mirrors, and there's also projections. So with that, thank you very much for visiting my channel. However it is that you came across this video, thank you very much for um, listening and for engaging. And I will deposit the yogi's name and go watch his video because he does encourage us, please, to go look and see in your own mind, even if there's no other interaction with that person that you can find you know, that's healthy and good, that's okay at least change it in your own mind because you take away that toxicity in your own mind and you take away that uh, magnetic pull for bull to come towards you that might be that same frequency and align with divinity which sees the beauty in every single person, every single life force and lining that up with expressing it out here 
that's my mission on earth is to not just line up what I know is true inside of me and in other people. It's lining up that divinity so that I'm expressing it for divinity, through divinity, divinity through me. So thank you very much. We are all free if we care to be. Thank you very much. Take care.